Why, thank you, Russ. Oh, I was taking my long Jacqueline Bissett march to the stage right there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, 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 since this is the first time for me here, my act will probably be like her speech. I'll just, just be taking breaks. I've just... Yeah, I, 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 it, it really is my favorite time of year. It's awards season, you know? You have the Golden Globes, the Screen Actors Guild, the, the Critics' Choice, the Porn Awards, the Woodies, yes. Uh, uh, but I, th I think the one that gets the most attention this time of year, the Academy Awards, the Oscars, yes, of course. And, and uh, no, no offense to uh, Ellen DeGeneres, I'm sure she's going to do a fantastic job hosting that show. But I honestly think that I should have been tapped to do it. I, I, I wrote my own Oscar monologue, and I'm going to share it with you fine people here, because I am, I am a huge movie buff. I love film. I go to the movies all year round, and the great, the great thing about this time of year is that you can look back and realize that you can stop pretending about how much you loved Anchorman 2. Uh, <laughs> and, and, you, you know, it, it's, it's, it's good, I, and I, I also have... Um, some choice opinions about the Academy Award nominations. I, I was not too thrilled with some decisions. Uh, take, for instance, Blue is the Warmest Color, the French lesbian epic, didn't receive one nomination. Not one. I, I was pretty mad. I mean, this was like the Lawrence of Arabia of lesbian cinema. I, I, it, not even for best foreign film. It should have gotten, you know, screenplay, actress. I, I was really disappointed. Blue is the warmest color. More like Josh is the hardest audience member. Uh, my favorite film of the year was Her. A uh, fantastic film where Joaquin Phoenix falls in love with uh, you know, an operating system. And uh, it was news to me to learn that uh, women have been having uh, you know, relationships with electronic devices for decades. Uh, I was a little slow catching on to that one. Uh, uh, another film that I really loved, uh, Blue Jasmine. Kate Blanchett plays a woman who talks to herself, or as most women call it, marriage. Uh, 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 there was an another film that didn't get any uh, attention really from the Oscars was Don John, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's directorial debut. This is an interesting film if you ever saw it. Uh, it's about a man addicted to porn. Uh, the original title was the Josh Bryant story. They, they changed that, um, you know, they went the whole, jo you know, Jersey Shore angle, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, why not more attention to me? You know I mean? But uh, yeah, Gravity, wow, that movie changed the game in cinema with uh, groundbreaking CGI effects. Uh, I mean, setting a landmark in cinema with all of its cinematography and editing. And still, it couldn't make Sandra Bullock be a credible astronaut. Uh, I mean, yeah, they could have done Medea Goes to Space. <laughs> and I guarantee you, you would, have, you would have had less of, I don't know what to do, I don't know where I am, uh, help. I, I, I mean, I'm not like anti-Sally Ride or anything, but come on. You went the whole way with the, uh, you know, the caliber, high caliber filmmaking, you know, at least cast Jas Jessica Chastain or something like that. I mean, I don't know, but, um, I tell you, we are living in the age of a wonderful time, uh, what I'd like to call a, a total rebirth of uh, Matthew McConaughey's career, or as I like to call it, the McConaissance. Uh, Dallas Buyers Club, fantastic film. Uh, it really goes away from conforming to the traditional Hollywood formula, you know, which is like, you know, boy meets girl, boy falls for girl, boy loses girl, and boy has to get girl back. Whereas uh, Dallas Buyers Club, it's boy meets girl, boy meets several girls, boy has unprotected sex with several girls, and boy gets AIDS. <laughs> Credits. But I, I, I can't wait till uh, Matthew McConaughey takes that stage and wins that Oscar, because I can only imagine what that acceptance speech is going to be like. All right, all right, all right. I got to say, I'd like to thank my wife first off for uh, keep telling me, you got to get your ass on out the door and go get a McConaughey. Them rolls ain't going to come through the door themselves. 
you got to win over some respectability with Killer Joe and just keep on moving. If you don't, they're just going to hold you forever for that magic mic. Come on, McConaughey. You know you can do that. And I got to say, this movie I did, it wasn't about dying. It was about living. And that's what each of y'all should be doing. L-I-V-I-N. <laughs> I, I re I'm just, I can't wait, uh, honestly. And, and the fun thing about the Oscars is like, who's going to present? Who's gonna, you know, get into it, you know? I would love to see Seth Rogen present an award. Just come out there and just be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I first of all want to uh, congratulate my friend Joda for uh, being nominated for Best Supporting Actor. Uh, Joda Hill proves that you could be raped by a demon and in the same year get nominated for an Academy Award. <laughs> <laughs> In my next film, I'll be blowing a goblin. And then I'll be in a movie directed by Steven Soderbergh. <laughs> Look for my campaign. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, um, it's been a great year of choices from some actors. Ryan Gosling did the two films. Uh, didn't get that much attention. Um, uh, the first, one of them was uh, Only God Forgives, which couldn't be truer because critics and moviegoers st still haven't. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to try to say the movie was bad, but uh, spoilers, there's a scene in the movie where he gets his limbs hacked off, and I remember looking at the screen and going, I wish that was me. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite movies this year was The Place Beyond the Pines, or as the Oscars call it, what? I'm, so, I'm sorry, what movie? Didn't get any attention. I was really uh, upset about that. I, I really enjoyed that film. A, a, a great one, uh, Nebraska. Uh, Bruce Dern is fantastic in it. The black and white cinematography is marvelous. But of course, the, you know, really you should look at that movie for what it is. And basically it's an exercise for how long will it take you to take Will Forte seriously. <laughs> it, it's like it's a quality script, wonderful direction, but still you're looking at it going, that's MacGruber on the screen. <laughs> MacGruber is in an Alexander Payne film. <laughs> uh, but it's a great movie. Really liked it. Uh, but of course, the, the front runner for best picture this year, they're saying, is uh, 12 Years a Slave. And I saw it. And I was 12 days ashamed to be white. <laughs> now, I'm not going to try to say that that movie like, purposely makes you guilty, but it's like, did you ever see a movie and then want to kill your ancestors? <laughs> I don't know, I, I talked to a friend of mine, a gentleman of color, if you will, um, Jarvis Thurston Jr. A real, yeah, Jarvis Thurston Jr., I, I had to talk to him, you know, about 12 Years of Slaves, because, you know, I had, I had reservations, you know, and, uh, well, basically, the conversation went like this, uh, well, uh, Jarvis, I just, I, I, I can't get this movie out of my head, it's haunting me, man, I, I just don't know what to do. Oh, man, Josh, what you need to do is not swearing so much. Honestly, one thing I can't, I mean, 12 years, it's like every time, like, it's like the past five months, everywhere I go, I, whenever I see a white man, he's like, it's like, I know he's going to talk to me about 12 years, it's like, oh, God, I mean, can I just talk about Pacific Rim? That was my favorite movie, Monsters, that's what I love, I love Monsters, it was great, oh man, and, and you know, Josh was telling you about the Oscars, it's a fun time, honestly. Uh, Oscars, they give out all these awards. I wish I was a presenter for the Oscars. I would, I would love to present the award for Best Actress, because I love actresses. They, good. they light up the screen, dr drive the plot forward. It's good. Yeah, you know, I, I would say, uh, yeah, Meryl Streep. I love Meryl Streep. She may be 70 years old, but she give me 71 reasons for a black man to get horny. I tell you. <laughs> I got my weird taste, but I love that Meryl Streep. She was good. She was in that movie where she whooped Julia Roberts' white ass. Oh, my God. I, <laughs> I loved every minute of it. I was like, go get her, get her, Meryl, get her. Aaron Brockovich ain't shit. <laughs> anyway, that was, Jar that was Jarvis' uh, take on 12 Years a Slave. Uh, but anyway, it's, uh, it's been a really interesting first time uh, performing for you guys. Uh, I want you all to enjoy the show. Keep it going for the other performers that are going on tonight. And uh, thank you very much, guys. Uh, <laughs> newcomer to the stage, Josh Ryan. <laughs> 